many of us when they uh, get initiated into Kriya Yoga and after a few months of practice or even a beginner who is in the basic meditation course says that I love this course very much, I love meditating, it's changing me, I feel so much joy and we also make a lot of efforts to share this joy, share this truth to others but the scriptures say that we should use discretion. It's not secret, but we have to be wise. We have to know when the seeker is ready. Usually, not everyone is ready. How many people are Kriyabans in Delhi? The Delhi's population is about 2 crore people. How many of them? A few thousands would be Kriyabans. It's really disproportionate. Not everyone is ready and people usually are ready when they are either when they experience a anguishing monotony in their life, they just go to office, come back and uh, they are tossed in the wave of life, tossed around and they are not able to even get a perspective where they are heading to, what is this life, why am I here? When was the universe made? What, do, what does happen when I die? What happens after that? Some people ask these questions and then God sends them a guru. Some of them uh, either lose a loved one or they lose something which they love and then they turn towards God and ask, why God, why? Uh, in autobiography, uh, Paramahansa Yogananda meets a uh, a saint in front of Kaliga temple and in that conversation the saint says to Paramahansa Yogananda uh, the creature he calls he is a Jnana Yogi so he doesn't refer to human beings as humans he says the creature finally turns to his creator if, no, if for no other reason than to ask in anguish why Lord why by ignoble whips of pain, man is driven at last to the infinite presence whose beauty alone should lure him. Jesus also says, ask and you shall receive. And only when people ask these questions, when they have this thirst for truth, a guru is sent to them and they are given the technique so that they can progress towards this eternal truth. Otherwise, they are not ready.